Hi guys, welcome to another video with Mel. Today I am doing my prediction and reaction video for The Walking Dead episode 1 of season 7. Or in other words, who Negan kills with Lucio. So, I'm going to give a bit of prediction. I'm going to go watch the episode in a minute. Um, luckily for me, it aired in the UK last night at 2.30 in the morning. So I've taped it and I'm going to watch it before I go to work today. So yay! Better than having to watch it at 9 o'clock. Um, it means I don't have to stay off social media all day because uh, as far as Chris has told me, I don't want to go on social media at all because I will get spoiled. So, not going on social media. I haven't looked. Um, these are based on theories I've read online or thoughts I have based on my readership of the comic book. So, my predictions for this first episode is I will see no Carol whatsoever and no Kingdom, which sucks because I'd love to see them. You know Carol's my favorite character, so we won't see her this episode. But who is going to kill, get killed by Lucio? I think there will be two deaths or more, okay? Um, I think with the way that Negan has phrased things, with that extra clip about the right-hand man, I think he's done a couple deaths. But then we have people that are in bad shape as well. We've got Maggie that's in bad shape. We've got Daryl which is in bad shape as well. So really those kind of people, I think they're knocked out of being killed really. I don't think Negan's going to touch a sick person or an injured person. He'd rather kill someone that's full like health at the moment because that's the kind of person that could take him down. Right now, Maggie, Daryl, they don't have that kind of power. So I think there will be two deaths. Um, we have to remember that we have to make Negan redeemable later on in the comic book. And as well, Dwight. So we can't have too many deaths. Because if Negan went and killed everybody, that would not be redeemable. Okay? We have to have redeemable here. So I think the people that will die are who originally died in the comic book. So Glenn will be one of the deaths. And I think because Abraham's death is so closely related to this death. Um, and he originally died in the comic book. Instead of Denise, Abraham will also die. Um, just based on what we saw last season of Abraham kind of standing up to Negan first thing. I think he'll be the first to go. I think Negan will try and squash that immediately with Lucille. And that will be the end of Abraham. Um, I think Glenn will die because of some interference. Um, or someone getting upset and that will be sending a message to the group So I think Glenn will still die in this But I think they're going to change it because they don't want us comic book readers to know what's going to happen But it's pretty obvious what's going to happen um, I'm, I'm personally happy about Abraham dying So I will be happy if that happens because I don't really like Abraham and I've been looking forward to his comic book death I was upset when it was given to Denise because um, I think that was a good way for Abraham to die and he his character had kind of played out at that point so I'll be happy to see him go if he does go. Glenn on the other hand I've known it's been coming for years now. Um, I like Glenn but in order for Maggie's character to regress Glenn has to die. It's very important that. So I think they won't take that away um, on the show. I'd be very disappointed with them if they do because it's pretty much saying Maggie should have no character development whatsoever and we're just going to leave her character stagnant. So hopefully that happens. Uh, the only way I can see around that is if they give Maggie's character development to Carol. Which might not work very well unless Daryl dies but Daryl is definitely not going to die. We know this already. Um, it's pretty much been hinted at for ages now. Daryl is going to take Carl's place in the comic book. And he is going to be kidnapped by Negan. I don't think that works very well. I'd rather see Carl do it. Because actually that would be some good things for Chandler Rigg to do. And it would be more interesting for Chandler Rigg. Rather than Daryl. Because I'm kind of getting sick of Daryl. Okay. <laughs> um, unless we're actually going to get a relationship with Carol at some point. What's the point of Daryl anymore? He really is just played out at this point. So those are my predictions. What I think will happen. I think the rest of the uh, episode will focus on um, going back to Alexandria. Seeing the chaos that's been caused there. Um, and Rick trying to explain to his people what's actually happening right now. Um, I think they will be all over the place. Um, I don't think Rick is going to lose his hand. That is definitely not going to happen. So people can stop saying he's going to lose his hand. Um, Kirkman has said before he regretted doing that. 
it's also very expensive for the production team. They already had Herschel without a leg for many seasons. I do think that meant that they killed off Herschel earlier than they would have thought about doing it before in the prison thing. Because it was just so expensive to CGI his leg all the time. Rick is on screen too much to pay for that CGI. So they're just not going to bother. So I'm about to go watch the episode guys. Wish me luck. I hope we see what we want out of this. If you touch Rosita or Eugene I will be upset with you walking dead don't you dare wreck that comic book storyline don't you touch it <laughs> so thanks for watching guys i'll see you in a little bit hi guys i'm back i've just finished the episode um that was pretty gross <laughs> that's the first reaction i have um i was right about the death so um abraham was the first to die which i'm quite happy with um i know many of you will be really upset with that but i was ready for abraham to go so i'm very accepting of him dying there um i felt like it was a good negan death because it took out someone that was really really strong which is kind of how negan works he'll take out the strongest people or try and turn them onto his side which is what he's going to plan to do with daryl and rick um so quite happy with that um, I thought the Glenn death might be in there as well and I was happy to see it in there. It was so close to the comic book. It was perfect. We had the scene um, that you have in the comic book after the first hit where you can see Glenn's eye popping out. Um, really gross but it had to happen and I wanted to see that in the TV show. I would have been really disappointed if we'd skipped over that and not had it. Um, so we've got Maggie already saying she wants to kill Negan and that they're going to fight back. Uh, so that's the Maggie I want to see. That is the Maggie from the comic. That's what I want her to grow into. And she can't do that unless Glenn died. And so that's what we needed her to be. So Maggie is growing into the character she is in the comic. Which I'm happy to see happening. Um, the whole Negan testing Rick with the axe. Thought that was very interesting. Um, a lot of people thought Rick was going to lose his hand. I didn't think he was going to lose his hand. Although when, when Negan was actually sanitizing the axe for him and I was like oh no this isn't gonna be good this isn't gonna be good and then he um threatened Carl um and told Rick to cut off Carl's hand I was like oh he's not gonna do it there's no way he's not gonna cut off Carl's hand there's no way um Negan's gonna stop him that's it's not gonna happen because as I said before sa same kind of thing with um Andrew Lincoln getting his hand cut off it would cost the production team too much money so it's not gonna happen it's bad enough we have Carl's eye gone and that's easy enough to cover up with just a bandage over it all the time that that's really easy easy for them to do hand is not so much so good tense moment there but I didn't think it was going to happen anyway so I'm okay with that um so we've got like the whole group coming together at the end of the desk the kind of be whole group Michonne stepping up trying to say yeah we get it Negan we, we're, we're fine we, we will we will do what you want um and Negan saying that Rick does not understand yet um but Michonne putting her neck out there trying to get Carl safe because that's what she does she's practically carl's mom at this point so she would try to keep him as safe as possible um very sad a lot of good performances i think a lot of really really upset people <laughs> i think they did a, did a good job of portraying that um they all had slightly different reactions which i thought was good as well um i was i was kind of hoping this whole episode wasn't going to be about just the deaths and that's it because i wanted to kind of move on from that start doing something else with that but they did decide the whole season premiere had to be that and i guess that's how it worked with television that you'd have to make that whole episode but i think there's so much more we could have went into as a very interesting season uh so next week it looks like we're gonna have negan to get his first supply and him coming to alexandria and threatening people uh, we might have another death next week. We'll see if it follows the comic storyline. Those of you who read it know what I'm talking about. So we'll see if that happens or not. <laughs> but uh, I'm doubtful they'll probably pull off another death this quickly. It, it seems very quick. As I said before, we need to make sure Negan is redeemable. Redeemable guy. <laughs> um, and it's not seeming like that very much right now. But later on, he has to be redeemable a little bit. And he did tell them if they still stepped out of line something bad would happen and I can't believe that hit on Glenn was just so well timed and well edited that like Negan was just literally standing there talking to him and he was like gone <laughs> it's like that was that was really good well like um when he hit Abraham he had a few seconds before and knew what was going to happen Glenn did not see that coming at all um I think that made that better that scene um 
quite enjoyed it. Um, it was very gross. Um, the one bit where, re where um, Rick jumps off the RV and is holding onto the zombie and the zombie's head is um, coming off its body. <laughs> That was really gross. And also the bit where um, Negan's bat has something hanging off of it, possibly Glenn's hair or some skin or something. That That's very, very gross. So yeah, so we got, we got what we should have got last season. This is what we should have got for a season finale. We should have started off this season with the end with... Um, them all kind of realizing what's happened and Maggie needing to go to the hilltop. I knew Sasha was going to step up. I just knew. I was like watching it. It's like, it's going to be Sasha, isn't it? I can't remember the name of the character that's at hilltop with Maggie, the black woman. But I think Sasha's taking her place. I'm pretty sure about that now. Um, and she'll be around for a long time then, Sasha will. So that, that's good. Uh, so she'll be helping to uh, take care of Maggie and little Herschel when he comes along. So that sounds good to me. So... Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, hope you're up for watching the next one next week. Um, I'm kind of excited to see Negan and Alexandria. And that's I think what we're going to get. So it doesn't seem like we're going to get Carol and Morgan. Probably I think episode 3 it's looking like. Um, according to like the preview we saw in Fox International. It'll be till episode 3. But I'm excited to see Carol and Morgan again. So that should be good. See you guys later. Bye bye. Hey guys, Mel here. I really want you to subscribe, subscribe, want you to subscribe, subscribe, want you to click that button below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.